What's up guys, DK, back to Final Fantasy 13. and for those of you who missed the first episode, uh, in a most unfortunate turn of events, I will indeed be skipping each and every single cutscene in this game for the entire LP, because unfortunately it is complete taboo. And like I said guys, people have been telling me constantly that there are a lot of people who upload cutscenes. Um, just because the movie is still available on YouTube doesn't mean that it's not copyrighted. Like now for example. See, I gotta skip this because I don't, I don't know which cutscenes are copyrighted and which ones are not copyrighted. But most, most of them are copyrighted. If I, if I so much as upload two seconds of a cutscene, then the whole Second fucking video minutes. gets copyrighted, and it could potentially lead to a to a copyright strike. Bring it on. So, I, I'm not gonna take any chances, guys, because you know. Oh. But that's perfectly fine because since I will really indeed be skipping all the cutscenes, man, the bro's hot. What this means is I can get through the game a lot faster. It'll make my editing a little less tedious. Only problem with this is that I'll be missing out on all the lovely ladies doing the cutscenes. So, oh well. All right, so let's go. Pretty much like the first part. All I gotta do is, um, yeah, these. These first battles are just training sessions, introducing all the characters, teaching you the different things of combat. But right now, still, all you really gotta do is just hammer the attack button, and if you get really, really low, then heal. Now, there's something about this I don't understand. I, 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 I know. Okay, I know video game logic has never made sense, but explain this to me. Okay, snow and lightning are one completely different sides of this place, right? So how the fuck does mainly bro's hot? So how the fuck does Snow magically have the potions that Lightning picked up? That that, that see I told you I I point out little small stuff like that, and I know video game logic has never made sense, but still. But yeah, guys, uh, if you're just joining this LP, and if you're new to my channel. Uh, Final Fest 10, I mean 12, yeah, yeah, 13, well, why am I so messed up right now? I, that's another thing guys, um, lately I've been having a hard time focusing on things. And I realized the problem for this, uh, apparently I am severely stressed out. So maybe I just, need, I just need to just take a break or just, I, I don't know the best way to relieve stress, but... People say that what just listen to music or just just do something that you enjoy doing, which is what I'm doing right now, playing videos and playing games and making videos for you guys. Uh, what was I saying a minute ago? Oh yeah, if you're new to my my channel, I LP Final Fantasy 13 when it first came out back in 2008, I believe. Uh, unfortunately, each and every single one of my videos got copyright claims. And one of my videos had a copyright strike. And copyright strikes are very, very, very bad. So I'm not taking any chances, guys. But then again, the story sucks. I don't think anybody cares about the story, so... I think it'll be good. I mean, I I'm still gonna have a fun time playing it. And if you, if you really, really, really wanna watch the, the cutscenes that bad, just look them up on YouTube. I mean, they're all over the place. But me, personally, I'm not taking any chances. Hand grenade is basically Snow's version of Blitz. It's it's the exact same thing. The only difference is he doesn't run up to the enemies, which makes it kind of faster. I don't know, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, they're basically the, the same thing. And apparently, Snow has an unlimited supply of grenades, which is really really cool. Okay, so moms are tough. I'm Bagel. Uh, isn't this the part where Snow's mom dies or something like that? Yeah, uh, this is not a. I mean, I guess I should do this LP as if this is your first time playing the game, but I, I don't know. I, I'm really not good at that. I, I, I'm used to just playing the game as if I just as if I've been playing it for years and just just utterly destroy everything in my path. But you know. uh, 
cut it chip. Actually, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, uh, the whole uh, the whole shopping thing and upgrading your weapons, you really don't want to don't, don't want to do that till very very late in the game. So we're not gonna worry about that right now. I'll explain all that when it's, when it's time to to do so. But yeah, the shroud grinding. I don't know if I can actually get shrouds here or not. But I don't do that until until I get to Hope and Vanilla. I like Vanilla anyway. Later. Someone mentioned that Final Fantasy 13 looks kind of like a remake of Final Fantasy 7. It, it does, doesn't it? I mean, I mean, I mean, Lightning does kind of look like Cloud. I mean, this does look like um, one of those uh, Midgar reactors, doesn't it? Alright, so I can't tell you how much I wish LeBro was a playable character. That'd be so badass. And why does the snow ha have its own battle thing? Why are they still playing Blind by Light when snow fights? They should have gave like snow, like every every main character. They should have gave them all like their own battle thing when you control nice. them and stuff like that. That'd have been a nice touch. That'd have been a, a very nice touch. Like when you're controlling snow, they play a different battle theme, and when you're playing vanilla, they they play a different battle theme. That'd have been cool. That'd have been really nice. But lightning is the main character, so well. And by the way, guys, I, I actually had a had opportunity to to meet Lightning's um, voice actress last year at um, Anime Weekend Atlanta. She was actually very very nice. All right, giant behemoth thingy. There's nothing we can't do. I might actually have to heal a few times here. Oh, definitely. And by the way, um, if you know you're gonna be doing the same thing over and over again, just go to abilities, click right, and you can repeat the action. You'll most likely be doing this against bosses. I can't remember if this guy has something that does have him. I think he can do like a heave attack or maybe that's not an attack attack like the uh, big bosses or whatever. But, but like I said guys, uh, there is some good that's gonna come out of this skipping cutscenes things. I, I can just focus solely on the game and that can make my videos somewhat slower because I have been receiving a lot of complaints about my videos being too long lately. But then again, guys, I'm one of the. I've been on YouTube since 2006. I I have the ability to upload 20 hour videos if I want to. So no reason to have that ability if I'm, if I'm not gonna use it, right? <laughs> but those long 20 hour videos are only for like my speed runs, like when I'm speed running long games and stuff like that. So. I gotta make sure that I cut the cutscene out immediately because it doesn't it doesn't take long for for YouTube to recognize it and copyright the whole video for five fucking seconds. I, I don't know the the limit on that, but oh wait, if if you if you if you if you copyright a full if, if you copyright a thirty minute video for five seconds, then fuck you. Oh, that's one of these things. We're back to lightning and sass now. Back to the cool team. I mean, Snow's not bad. I mean, I think, you know, again, Snow is definitely a blockhead. He's he's all barking no bite, but he's not that bad. Yeah, he's kind of pathetic, but he uh, got some slack. You know, he's got a really, really hot girl. He doesn't want to lose. I don't think anybody would want to lose Sarah. And by the way, Sarah, um, Sarah, uh, okay, if there, if there happen to be any nice ladies out there watching this, um, LP, the few being away, because uh, most of my fans are males, um, Sarah received a lot of hate, but not from males, but from, from, uh, females. What is it that females hated about Sarah? Is it because she's really gorgeous, attractive? I mean, what, what? Why do girls hate Sarah? Oh, shit, cutscene. <laughs> Attention. 
Uh, see, I'm not. I'm not used to this. I, I'm not fucking used to cutting out cutscenes. I'm. I'm. I'm just not used to this. But I. I. I gotta get used to cutting out cutscenes. I mean, uh, uh, unless I'm speed running a game, of course I'm. I'm used to it. But I'm. I'm not used to this. I keep. I, I keep forgetting to cut. Out. Okay, so we fight a boss with lightning, and now we're back to snow. I gotta remember. To press start the moment a cutscene comes up, otherwise the video is gonna get copyrighted and possibly taken down. Right. Well, maybe not. Um, most most videos just get regular copyright claims, but if it's something that they really, 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 really don't want you showing, they will take it off and give you a copyright strike. Example: uh, I'm gonna leave the offset for lightning because snow's tank already. Example: Final Fantasy. 13 to the the paradox endings you really need to get a copyright strike for those because um i i uploaded a, a paradox ending for a 13 to the one where you um you arrest Alyssa, which is kind of a shame because i think she's hot by the way yeah i have a i have a fetish for for sexy tomboys guys um they gave me a copyright claim and i disputed it and then they gave me copyright strike, so they basically said, "Fuck you, you're not uploading this." So copyright strike, I guess that means Square did it with their own hands. So that's why I I don't fuck with these um these are uh, 13 cutscene guys because I'm I'm not I'm not losing 10 years of a channel because Square wanted to be a dick. You know, I'm not doing that. See, even though I'm taking a, 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 a lot of damage, I try not to. I try not to use my potions because you heal after every fight. So all I gotta do is win, and then I'm at full health again. Because I know later on in the game that there are gonna be some fights where I'm gonna be spamming potions up the ass, like um, Odin, for example. Odin, Odin is really, really hard to beat unless you're like severely over leveled. But that's another thing that people c complain about. And by the way, um, people really, really, really need to make up their fucking minds. One minute you're okay. One minute you're complaining that a game limits your level progression. Final Fantasy 13 has something called the Curse Theorem, which is very, very similar to the um, the Spear Grid in Final Fantasy 10. Unfortunately, once you reach a certain point, you cannot get any stronger until you reach a certain point in the game. Uh, the I guess it makes sense plot-wise, but the purpose of it is so that you're not completely over leveled and just destroy all the bosses that's the point of it the the, the 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 point of it was to keep the game balanced but then people were complaining about that and then we get to final fantasy 13 2 and now people are complaining that the game is too easy make up the fucking minds <laughs> sorry guys i really hate that i i hate people who are hypocritical i just i just can't stand that it's either it's either going to be too easy or it's going to be too hard there is no in between there there is no such thing as in between. It, just, it doesn't exist. It's either going to be A or it's going to be C. There is no B. <laughs> All right, let's move on. That's enough raining on me for one day. Cut, save, skip. <laughs> All right. We're fighting! How nice. Yeah, so, uh, unfortunately, guys, this is pretty much how the entire LP is gonna go. Just me running down the hallway, killing guys, and then running down another hallway, killing more guys. Fight a boss, killing more guys, run down another hallway, killing more guys. So I, I, I'm sorry, but I have to skip every cutscene. But like I said, this will make sure that I get through the game a lot faster, because uh, unfortunately... In all honesty, in this game, I would say the cutscenes probably take up about 80% of the game. No, that's a Metal Gear Solid. I would say the game is like, well, it looks like I fucked up, guys. I thought I thought I was skipping the See, I was... Okay, I don't know what the fuck happened, but I got all mixed up right there. I thought I was skipping the cutscene, but apparently I, would, I skipped the battle and then I went back to the title screen. Which means I now gotta do all this shit over again, so I will see you guys when I get back to the doesn't it quick save? Okay, it 
it it it does quit say so I don't go all the way back. Or did I do that myself? Oh well. Anyway, I will see you guys back when I get to that point, I guess. Anyway guys, that's what I was talking about earlier. Um lately I haven't been able to 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 solely focus because I, uh, I, I was told that that can come from stress and then I, I do little mistakes like that so I haven't been able to focus there because I've got a lot of stuff in my mind some some personal some not so personal but yeah guys um I don't mind the fact that I that I'm forced to skip all the cutscenes because this game is like 50-50 it'll just m make me get through it a lot faster so oh well Hello, Vanille. I don't care what anybody says. She's really, really, really hot. I, I love Georgia. Georgia is so nice. She's really, really, really fun to be around. Georgia's nice. I, I, I love Georgia. I really look forward to um to meeting her at an anime convention to get her to sign my poster. All right, so here we have uh, Hope. The main white mage of the room. Actually, you know, that's a vanilla. Actually, I don't know. I, I think Hope and Vanilla are kind of equally in white mages, but Vanilla has more HP and, and she can actually fight back. But oh, well. Plus, she's a lot harder, obviously. Hello, Vanilla. Now, I think, um, I think Vanilla received more hate than every character in this game combined, which is kind of shameful, but again, back then, I was just a just a total pervert. I, I didn't care. Only thing I cared about was how hot she was, so. You no. Know. Oh, yeah, see, um, I am ready and, and waiting to skip every cutscene because you just never know. Five seconds can get the whole fucking video taken down. Even, even, even sound effects. I'm serious. I, I'm not joking. Even, even sound effects can get copyrighted. You're gonna regret this. Shake that tush, baby. Uh, I gotta remember that I gotta skip all the cutscenes. So basically, guys, what's going on here is um, Snow got together a lot of people to to fight back, but unfortunately, there was an explosion and they all fell to their death, which includes Hope's mom. Only thing on Hope's mind now is to get revenge on Snow because he feels like Snow is kind of responsible for his That's mom's death, which he kind of is, but it was her decision to go and fight, so... Well. But anyway, guys, uh, I can't remember if it was this room or the next one. Um, it's a good thing that I think it's this room. Let me see. Um, I think it's, it's, it's uh, this room where I grind my shrouds. I'm not sure, but... But yeah, guys, a lot of people really, really hate the vanilla. Of course, I was not one of those people. But the funny thing is, later on, everybody realized that she's probably the single most broken character in the game. Late game, because of her, her death spell. <laughs> everybody used vanilla to to um, get, get by the hard bosses that they were too lazy to grind to beat the hard way. So first you hated her, and now you use her in every battle just to get by... A fight that, that, that you couldn't win. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I used it from the beginning. But anyway, guys, um, I can't remember if this is the room or if it was the next room. I'm gonna just hold out for a minute and see if this is the room. Okay. Now, you know what's funny? Uh, right now, Vanilla has the ability to do a melee attack, right? But later on, when she gets her Lucy powers, which is kind of odd since she practically already has them, Later on, when she gets her Lucid power, she suddenly loses the she suddenly loses this ability. She doesn't get it back until the um until she gets the commando job. Yeah, see that for sale. I know I didn't say that right, but who gives a fuck? So yeah, shrouds work kind of backwards from from uh, item drops. The lower your rating, the the, the, the higher the chance you have of um, getting a shroud. Now, you can actually get shrouds in any battle. Uh, however, at the beginning of the game, shrouds have a much, much higher drop rate. And these things are really, really, really good. 
So guys, uh, what happens now is I'm probably gonna let's see. I'm, I'm gonna get a that's probably a five star rating, and it is, and no shrouds. So uh, the rating and star depends on how fast you get through the battle. I can't remember if anything else modifies that. I'm not sure. Dogs, take dogs. But I know for a fact that the faster you get through it, the higher the rating. So what I do here, guys, is I just let Vanille just sit here shaking her tush while Hope does all the killing. I mean, I got plenty of potions so they can't kill me anyway, but... Since they expect you to get through all these fights in like 10 or 15 seconds, it doesn't take much time for you to get a, a zero star rating. In fact, uh, I'm gonna start timing this so I know when when Vanilla can actually kill stuff. I mean, her weapon is kind of weird, but... Okay. Anyway, I get a one-star rating. And now suddenly, I get a shroud. So yeah, guys, uh, this area, in uh, this first level in the game, actually has the highest shroud drop rate. Which is actually... In all honesty, if you want my opinion, I think that was that's kind of fucked up and a dick move on Square's part because again, unless unless you have some kind of some kind of guidance, how the fuck are you gonna know that? Seriously, that I that's just wrong and that should be backwards. The drop rate sh should increase the further you go in the game, but no, the further you go in the game, it decreases. So that that's really really fucked up. I mean, I I, I just think that that was a dick move. For them to do that, but oh well. I guess I'll forgive them since I get to spend quality time with Vanille here. Five star rating. And I still got one, so... Um, I believe in this area, the Shroud drop rate is like, what, 12% or something like that. If you get a four star rating, it's multiplied by three, I think. Or was it three or four? If you get a... No... If you get a one star rating, it's multiplied by three or four, I can't remember. If you get a zero star rating, it's multiplied by eight. So in other words, if you get a zero star rating, you, you, then you're pretty much guaranteed to get a shroud each and every single time. But yeah, guys, uh, lately I've been um, I've been experimenting something really, really, really weird. Uh, apparently, everything around me seems like it's really, really, really slow. Yeah, um, I looked this up on I looked this up on the internet. It's called what slow motion anxiety or something. I don't know, and it's caused from extreme stress. So maybe I'll just is that the one I'm looking for? Items, yeah, uh, yeah. So this is the one I want right here. I want this and this. So what these things do is um, shrouds. You press the the L1 button to to uh, bring them up. And then you activate them, and they give you various buffs at the start of every fight. I most likely save these for long gooey farming later on in the game, which I'm going to be doing a lot of. So. so what happens now, guys, is I will probably be here for about mm, about a day or two <laughs> farming infinite shrouds. And then once I've had my fear, we will continue with the LP. And I don't have a problem with this because I get to spend quality time with Vanille here. No daydreaming now. Yeah, guys, I must. I must still be stressed out because I, re I remember this game being being a lot faster than this and I, and I remember Vanilla shaking it a lot faster than that too so I must I'm definitely stressed out because um, I'm experimenting um, I I'm experimenting this slow motion anxiety thing here so hopefully a after I go on this on this uh, family trip and I get a few days of rest I feel a, a lot better because I I'm just not feeling good right now, but oh well. 
So I got a one star rating, and I got another strap. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna be doing this for quite a while, and I guess after I get like 50 shrouds, we will finally continue with the game. So see you guys later. Take it easy. Thanks for watching.